Okay, so I had planned to save this until I started getting in here and seeing everything that we got here. Um, Coda, shut up. So, anyways, I was going to weld onto this section here with this piece. But, when I went to tack weld and grind and get ready to clean up the metal for this, um, this right here, I started seeing these holes, and then I started looking even deeper, and there's a hole here, and there's some more back here. And on the other side, it gets even worse. And this is okay. Could be better. But anyways, I thought maybe I could replace just these little pieces here from the other side. But I can get this whole new windshield cowl piece for like 200 bucks. I'll have to scab these bracket parts off, all three of them. Probably this bracket too, I'm imagining. And just start fresh. Um, this part's pretty good, just needs to be cleaned up and straightened up and whatnot. And then once I get it on the body rotisserie, I can flip it over and weld, plug weld these holes and grind them clean and stuff from the underside. So that's kind of my plan with everything, is once I get it on the cart or the rotisserie, I can take the underside of all these and fill them and clean them up as need be. You know, like the seam down here where the uh, floorboards meet, I can dolly and hammer and get that all back to good. So right now I am gonna work on grinding some of this stuff out. So I need to make a cut basically right along here. I need to grind this piece off and then let's see I think get that glob of seam sealer off I should be able to get that get this might just take this whole bracket with it since I have a new one already so just chop it but Anyways, I'm going to get that off. That way, it's all good. I don't have this shitty channel causing me problems down the road. So, it's a notorious spot on the Broncos. And I should have known that I should have, you know, calculated this into my project and what it was going to take, but... we'll see all right I got this thing out you see those holes I was pointing out it's pretty gnarly on both ends there's holes all through here and it's bubbling and I mean, it's decent through there but I think it's best to replace it I'll chop this new bracket off here and then yeah this stuff's got to go anyways. Look at that. Woo! Yeah. Bronco City. Okay, while we're here, since I'm looking at this, I want to know if anybody thinks this is savable. Like, I feel like I can take a cut Obviously you can't get way down there, but you know, down here underneath the rocker, cut it, you know, something straight up to there and just make this, I mean, it's not that simple of a piece. And really make this little bend fold here. Clearly they just, they didn't do any relief cuts cause it's all rippled from the factory. Obviously it's rusted and shitty anyways, but 
The rest of the quarter is in really good shape and it's square. There's one little pinhole right here, you know, um, and then this. But I, the rest of the quarter is in really good shape and I kind of want to save it. Um, you know, it's not dented. The back end, back in here, it's all solid. Like, it's there, it's good. Doesn't look great, but it's there. So, I don't know, just uh, something to think about. I mean, okay, so this morning I made a quick road trip. Um, went and got a buddy's trailer and picked up my new body cart. It's made for the Bronco. Originally, I believe, from Shannon's Broncos because guy at a Bronco place locally here in near the Portland area sold it to me for a smoking deal. And the cool part is the legs here are removable and I can set it up to run a rotisserie, which I wanted to adapt a cart to do anyways, and this one's already set up for it. So, I'm pretty jacked. So, um, yeah, got that. Move the uh, Bronco back a little bit right here. So I got enough room between the gate and the Bronco to set it out here and Hopefully get to work on it pretty soon, so yeah. Um, today, I'm gonna work on getting the bed out and all the rusty shit out so that I can fabricate new parts for the bottoms of the wheel wells where it needs to be extended and replaced. And then I can also just get some new pieces in and get some progress being made while I'm waiting on parts so yeah that's kind of the plan so I'm just gonna start cutting the fuel tank is rusty and has a hole in it so I'm not worried about fuel or any of that shit because it hasn't rained in who knows how long anyway so we're gonna get started here so here we go so yeah like I said we're gonna start here I'm just gonna cut like right through here get this back piece it's pretty much gone anyways I can lift it off cut along there and get the front just the main bed portion out that's my goal for right now so
metal beds out. All right. We got a nice look at everything. Sweet. Okay, so the camera died a little bit ago and I didn't realize it, but anyways, I got the bed pretty much out. I gotta get the front. I don't have my drill with me, it's on a job site, so um, that front, all these, uh, hold on. all those spot welds right along that edge there, I gotta drill out to get the under layer because the bed clearly goes down and underneath of that lip there so it's it tucks under like that and then it gets spot welded from the top but I got all the sides of me a little cleanup to do here and then some major repair work to do there but I have all the pieces for it so um, yeah and then those two spots there and there and then down here I'm just gonna refabricate new sheet metal to fit it in place it's pretty simple and flat there's nothing to it so no need to buy some special part when I have sheet metal here. So, same thing down here. I'm gonna do the same deal, just extend it out, cut new sheet metal, so just a flat piece. Um, same over here, once I get everything cut away, gotta add a little bit more here. And then, yeah, I have that piece panel here. The bed comes at a straight line right there. And, Spots welds to the top of that, so I gotta clean up the rest of that. Need to go get some more aggressive uh, flap discs. All I have is like 80 grits, and they're not doing very good. So, yeah, it's coming together. 